and welcome to the channel welcome to digitalish africa yes yeah, so in our pizza dough recipe i promised that i was going to teach you how to make your pizza with the dough yes yeah, so but for now what we'll be doing i have my pot on the fire so all we we'll just do now is to me is to prepare our minced meat yes yes so all i'll just do now our our pot is already heated up properly so all i'll just do now is to add in our meat yes our meat is washed so we are just heating it up with no oil all we just do is to heat it up yes so we are preparing this is what we we'll use for our topper so we are just preparing it before we go into adding the filling into our pizza dough yes so all you just do now is to stir 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 yes you need to stir very well stir 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 beautifully so now look at the meat is red so you are going to mix this until it becomes peel yes until it changes color let me say it like that until it changes color yes until the color changes completely so you continue stirring you stir 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 yes you just continue stirring the aim is to cook it completely yeah so as you can even see you can see that the color has started changing so you continue in that motion up until you see that it has changed color and all the meat has cooked right now some have changed while others are still red so all you just do is to keep on stirring, stir, 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 till everything is properly cooked. You don't want some of your meats to be cooked while others are not cooked. Yes. So you just continue in that motion. Yes. So you can see I'm breaking, breaking it. Yes. So you do this until you see that it starts releasing, releasing its own juice. Yes. So you just continue, continue, continue. Yes. So look at it. Look at the color. It has changed from being red to, let me say, brown. So you just continue stirring. For me, I like my pizza feeling. I like it to be beef. I like beef for my pizza filling. I like it so much. So that is why you see me making beef filling for my pizza. Yes. I also like chicken. I also like using chicken breast. But what I like more is the beef. So at this point, what I will do now, I will go in and add in my diced garlic. Yes. So you just stir in. So the garlic gives it an extra flavor like it takes it to the next level it's really bringing some freshness into the meat yes it brings in freshness to the meat so what i'll just do now is to add in my this in here i have my thyme my maggi cube and salt yes. so all i'll just do is continue stirring so you just stir 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 yes you stir 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 up until the water dries and you see no water in the meat yes so you just stir, keep on stirring yes up until you see no water in your meat yes this is smelling so divine guys so nice like it's very nice and the feel of the garlic it takes the recipe to another level like i said earlier like it's very nice so the water has dried completely so look at it look at it look at it look at it that's dry so what we'll do now is to set it aside for it to cool down 
completely. Yes, then we'll show you. I'll show you other ingredients. Yes. Yes, guys. So these are the ingredients we use for our topper. Yes. So in here, I have my red onion, my red bell pepper, and my green bell pepper. Yes. And here, this is my mozzarella cheese. I'll be cutting it soon. This is the meat we just prepared. Yes. And this is our pizza sauce, guys. So if you want to know how to make your own pizza sauce, kindly check the description box. The link to the video will be there for you to check out. Yes. So what I'll just do now is to push all this. Yes. And just cut my mozzarella cheese actually when i'm making pizza i do not like to use a lot of cheese that is one of the things i do not like like i prefer to just eat i prefer the dough and you know and the other filling but too much of the cheese i don't like it that is why i always prefer to make my own pizza at home because the cheese you know i don't really like the taste of the cheese yes so i prefer to you know use a little amount so what I'm just doing now is chopping it into bigger cubes. I do not want it to be in big cubes. Yes, I do not want it to be in big cubes. Yes, the reason is because when it melts, when it's in smaller um, cubes, it melts faster and dries and dries. It dries out faster. So it's preferably for it to be in bigger cubes. Yes. So all I'll just do is to put this here. Then I'll cut the last part. Yes. So, like I said, I do not like men. I do not like a lot of cheese. So all I'm just doing now is to cut the last one. Yes. So I'm just cutting it. So normally, when buying cheese at the supermarket, they can actually chop it for you. But I prefer to just do it myself. Yes, I prefer to buy the bar just like the way you saw it. Then I'll cut it myself. That is what I prefer. Yes. So depending on you, if you know you don't want to go through this stress, all you just do is tell them at the supermarket to chop it, to grate it for you. Yes, they will grate it beautifully for you. Yes, that one, when you just bring it to the house, you just, you know, just add it to your pizza and you are good to go. So this is it. So like this is fine and perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to preheat my oven while I go in to show you how to now roll out your pizza dough. Yes. So let me bring in my flour and my scraper. Yes, so I need enough space. Yes. Yes, so this is our pizza dough. Yes, so all I will just do now is to take some flour. Yes, so I'm working with this. I'll take one. So all you just do is to take flour to scoop it out. Yes. It's very sticky. Do not forget. Yes. So the flour we are putting on that is going to help us push it out from the tray. Yes. Yes. So all I'll do now is to flour my surface. You will need to flour with enough flour. Yes. Then all I'll do is to bring it down. Yes, so this is our pizza dough. Yes, so with this pizza dough, it's, it's very sticky and we need to work with enough flour. So what you do is, you do not want to touch the sides. All you just want to work with is the in inside. You want to bust out all the air. If it's sticky just sprinkle in some flour then all you do is to go in and push so just make sure to push 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 yes while you flip it over just push that's the thing you do till you get the size you want yes just push so all you are seeing here is not dough it's air yes it's air so all you just do is to keep on pushing so what you do is you stretch like this then you move it and you stretch you stretch it yes so be careful so that it wouldn't tear apart yes so we've gotten to the size we want so all i'll just do is to bring in so this is my tree this is about 11 inch so what i'll just do now is to lift it lift it up 
I'll set this flour aside and just lay it on the tray. Yes. Yeah, just lay it on the tray. So I've gotten to the side. So we still have the air all around, you get. Yes, so we have the air all around. So this is what we are looking for. So what we'll just do now, I'll bring spoon to scoop out our sauce. Yeah, so all I'll just do now is to take my pizza sauce. Actually, I'm someone who do not like a lot of sauce. Yes, I do not like a lot of sauce at all. A lot of sauce and a lot of cheese I don't like. So this, this is okay. Yes. So this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very perfect. So our oven has been preheating for a while now. So all I'll just do now, first of all, what I'll do now is to take this into the oven and heat it for like five minutes. Then I'll come out and show you how it looks. Yes, guys. So look at it. Look at how beautiful this looks. So all we'll just do now is to, the way it looks now is, to just add in our vegetables and our cheese so all I'll just do now is to go in and add in some cheese yes then I'll go in with some green bell peppers I'll go in with my meat yes some of it then I'll go in with my red onion and I'll go in with my green onion Yes, to give it that freshness. So I'll go in with more cheese. Remember, I said I don't like plenty cheese, so not too much. Not too much. Something you know reasonable. Yes. That's why I prefer to cut it big, big. Yes, so like this, we'll take it back into the oven for it to cook for another 10 minutes. Yes. Yes, guys, look at this goodness yes guys so thank you so much for watching please don't forget that one day at a time is the best please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to hit the notification bell below so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified till we meet in our next video please stay safe and bye